Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and today I want to look at setting up a backup within a Cronus True Image 2017. So if you're sort of an advanced user or just somebody that's very comfortable with looking through these things yourself and getting new software set up yourself, you may want to go ahead and just skip over this video. And of course, if you're interested in my personal feelings on a Cronus True Image 2017, you can go ahead and click the card on the screen now, and that will take you to my review of this piece of software. So without further ado, we already have a Cronus booted up, and of course you would have gone through and installed and activated your copy of a Cronus, and you'll see all these little tabs on the left side. You wanna make sure that you are clicked into the backup tab. Now obviously I already have my own backup set up for my computer, but we'll just assume that that doesn't exist and we'll go forward as if we are starting our own new backup. Down at the bottom here, you will see the add backup button and you'll just click that plus sign there. And we will go ahead and name this whatever you would like to. In my case, I'm gonna name it S drive. Now on the right side here, we have two things. We have the source and we have the destination. Now for the source to change that, you just hover over it and click change source. And then of course you have several different options. You can back up your entire PC like my current backup is. You can back up specific disks and or partitions, or you can just back up certain files and folders. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and click the disks and partitions. Now the process is the same for both the files and folders and the entire PC. Keeping in mind, of course, if you back up the entire PC, it will be a bit of a simpler process. So I click into disks and partitions. And since this is gonna be just an S drive backup, I'm gonna go ahead and unclick the ADATA SP550. And I will just click the checkbox of the drive that contains my S partition. Now, if I wanted to back up my entire PC, including all disks and partitions, I would simply go through and check all these. If I was simply just worried about backing up the drive with my operating system on it, I would, of course, uncheck the other two and make sure that the disk C was checked. But since I'm, again, doing the S drive, I will go ahead and just click on the disk with the S drive on it. And of course, click OK when I'm finished there. Now in destination, you can leave it as a Cronus Cloud, which my membership gives me one year of, but I would like it to be a local backup. So again, just hover over the destination and click change destination. And you can use an external drive, which that would be like an external hard drive or a very large USB thumb drive if you happen to have one of those. Or you can set a custom location for your backup, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, if I'm just interested in getting the backup files onto my current computer, I could back them up anywhere. An easy place, for example, would be the desktop environment. That way it would just pop up over here on my desktop when it's done. Or if you have network attached storage, you can expand the network and then navigate to your network attached storage and go in there and find a save location for that. For me, I'm just gonna leave it in the NAS 2000 folder and again, click OK to set my destination. So now once I click backup now, it will back up my entire S drive to the network location that I have selected. And again, you can change either of these by just hovering over and clicking change source or change destination. And of course, with a Cronus, one of the nice things is you do have the option to encrypt your backup. And of course, remember also that if you do not remember your password for your backup, you will not be able to restore it. So if you do pick a password for your backup, make sure you either write it down and leave it somewhere where you'll know where it is, or maybe just pick a password that you just guaranteed won't ever forget. And within all your backups, you can also go into options and you can set your schedule for backing up. You can pick the day that it backs up. You can make it daily, weekly, monthly, upon event, nonstop, do not schedule. Uh, you can do all these things within a Cronus. Under advanced settings, you can also do things like wake up your computer to, from its sleep or hibernation state so that it can back up, or you can prevent the computer from going to sleep or hibernating while backing up, which is probably also a good option, especially if you really need it to complete uh, the process and you have your computer set on a timer where it will, for example, go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity. And then when you are ready to back up your drive, you can either back it up now or in the drop down by clicking the arrow, you can back it up in one hour, two hours, four hours, six hours, or just later, which means that you will select a time later on when it's convenient for you to back up. 
And that's really it to setting up a backup within a Cronus True Image 2017. That should give you a lot of peace of mind, especially to protect yourself from things like ransomware attacks, which once they happen, there's really not a whole lot you can do to help yourself other than to just go back to the last restore point you can and basically start over from scratch there. So a Cronus gives you the option of dropping back, but not very far back. In my case, I have my backup set for a weekly backup. So even if I got hit by ransomware today, I would just be dropping back one week in time from my computer. So if you do like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And of course, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.